Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. I have a lot of passions here in the restaurant world and health world and I'm a runner and you know and I'm a restaurateur but you know I've learned how to minimize my business, work less, make more money, enjoy my life and travel and it's a beautiful beautiful thing. If I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. Here's my I'm doing a video on video. I'm doing a series of videos. The top 50 mistakes I see other restaurateurs making, and it drives me crazy. So I'm doing a quick two, three, four, five minute videos on all of these to help you. You're not going to be able to get all the help maybe in all the videos, but it's going to get your mind going in the right direction. Please email me, call me. Let's talk further. If there's anything that I can help you do further. So number 46, mistake number 46. You guys don't do reviews enough. You leave it to an annual review. No, no, no. You have to do weekly, some weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly reviews with your staff. And don't call them reviews. Call them um, performance evaluations. Something maybe not performance evaluations. Call them um, objectives. An objective meeting. I would like to have my weekly objective meeting with you. What's the best thing that happened to you this week? What's the worst thing? Ask some different questions. Don't go in and start nailing them with the good and the bad. A lot of people like to nail with the bad. A lot of people wait to have an employee review until there's something bad happening. No, do it while it's good and the momentum's there, and then find out what their passion is. Find out how they're so, I've developed specific questions again with the help of other restaurateurs and books. I've developed specific questions that work, that are proven to work. You ask them specific questions about their personal life, about their goals, their accomplishments, um, future, um, what they love doing, how much of a percentage of the time at work they is spent doing what they love. If they don't love doing your doing working at your place, why are they working there? Why do you have them employed? You've got to find these things out before they end up walking out on a shift, quitting, leaving you high and dry, or underperforming for six months or a year. Not at my place, sorry. Weekly monthly, regular evaluations. Call them whatever you want. Evaluations a little abrupt sometimes, but performance, um, whatever, whatever you want to call them. But communicate. The key is communicate. Spend 15 minutes and communicate. Just because you're sitting down and doing those things doesn't mean they're getting a raise. You might keep that during your annual reviews, your annual big one getting a raise. But just communicate. That's the most common problem is not enough communication. And the day I started doing these, I found out that my staff wanted more responsibilities. They wanted, in fact, someone wanted a lot more responsibilities. I find out what their goals were, that I was a part, them working at my restaurant was a part of their future goals, which I had no idea. So, of course, they want more responsibilities, and they're willing to take it on. And when you can get your staff to do more, your job becomes easier. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. I've been running my restaurant, Aroma Time, for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. And I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around. Been here 10 full years, like I've said. I've defeated all the odds. I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. And that's how I can confidently say, I can help you, I can switch that mindset, I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10 year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is, I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please send me an email. 